Go from, I'm sure, if you will not forfeit. I'm sure, yes. I'm sure if he forfeit, that will not take his flesh. What's that good for? To bait fish with all. <laughs> if it will feed nothing else, it will feed my revenge. He hath disgraced me and hindered me half a million. Laughed at my losses, mocked at my gains, scorned my nation, thwarted my bargains, cooled my friends, heated my enemies, and what's his reason? I am a Jew. Hath not a Jew eyes? Hath not a Jew hands? Organs, dimensions, senses, affections, passions? Fed with the same food, hurt with the same weapons, subject to the same diseases, healed by the same means, warmed and cooled by the same winter and summer as a Christian is. <laughs> if you prick us, do we not bleed? If you tickle us, do we not laugh? If you poison us, do we not die? And if you wrong us, shall we not revenge? If we are like you in the rest, we shall resemble you in that. If a Jew wrong a Christian, what is his humility? Ah, revenge. If a Christian wrong a Jew, what should his sufferance be? By Christian example. Why? Revenge. The villainy you teach me, I will execute, and it shall go hard. But I will better the instruction. Right. All right. <clears throat> All change. All change. <laughs> change come out of this right side. <laughs> Why, I'm sure if he forfeit, that will not take his flesh. What's that good for? To bait fish with all. If it will feed nothing else, it will feed my revenge. He hath disgraced me and hindered me half a million. Laughed at my losses, mocked my gains, scorned my nation, thwarted my bargains, cooled my friends, heated my enemies. And what's his reason? I'm a Jew. Had not a Jew eyes. Had not a Jew hands. Organs, dimensions, senses, affections, passions, fed with the same food, hurt with the same weapons, subject to the same diseases, healed by the same means, warmed and cooled by the same winter and summer as a Christian is. If you prick us, do we not bleed? If you tickle us, do we not laugh? If you poison us, do we not die? And if you wrong us, shall we not revenge? If we are like you in the rest, we will resemble you in that. If a Jew wrong a Christian, what is his humility? Revenge. If a Christian wrong a Jew, what should his sufferance be by Christian example? Why, revenge! The villainy you teach me, I will execute, and it shall go hard. But I will better the instruction. Right. <clears throat> I think that the interesting thing there was actually at heart and bottom, both of them were alike underneath the surface difference because they both did something which we all worked on together, which is not usually done with that speech. It's usually done, isn't it, as an appeal for pathos, hath not a Jew eyes, I am strangely moved, I am a poor wronged fellow. And if you do that, you tip the balance of the play in terms of its sympathies and it's within that speech that if you do go for pathos and sentimentalize it that the seeds of playing the all-white Shylock mm. comes out mm. and then what was interesting to me was that though you were wildly different <laughs> at heart that was the same and yes. I think we're all agreed on yes. it I was it was uh, for weeks in rehearsal uh, a black hole for me uh, a stumbling block I couldn't cope with the speech because I was seeing it, this is again the tradition of the role, mm. uh, and act is acting Shakespeare, it's constantly present. We are, we are bombarded by received impressions, performances we have seen, reviews that we have read. It's mm. so difficult to rid yourself of those impressions and go for something which is original. And therefore, I believe that this was a great speech about 
humanity, a speech, a plea for compassion, for understanding, for racial tolerance. And I was lucky to make a discovery that um, the speech, in fact, none of those things, but is a calculating, cold-blooded justification of revenge. The complete opposite of its uh, conventional uh, interpretation. Mm. Yeah, I think the big, the big trap, as you say, is the, um, the, um, the uh, sympathetic trap. Um, I, 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 once again, was terrified by this purple passage. Yes. Uh, oh, God, I mean, they are terrifying, those speeches. And my way into it was the, um, having heard from Solerio Solano his behavior with the Duke on hearing about his daughter, which one never really ever sees. But having come down from that, what is that man's state now? Having been ranting and raving, knocking at the door, saying, get out of bed, find my daughter, find my daughter. Right, he's, he's now off that, he's off that. But these two people here, uh, they taunt him, they mock him, and suddenly the, this deep anger vents itself and I thought that was my 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 way into it uh, you, tell me can I ask a question uh, what was the physical state Did you feel a sense of exhaustion at the beginning of the scene because Shakespeare's done a wonderful thing he describes Shylock at, at the height of his passion off stage yes exactly. we never see it it's all reported by someone else yes so the man that you see is someone who as you say has been over that hill and yes. is now down the other side yes, I'm on my Therefore, way I'm on my way finished I'm, I'm, so I'm that's finished so this in, in fact the scene is over before I come in it's only they start right. doing so if they didn't speak yes. I'd go right off the other side of the stage